but it's just a fact, okay? I don't know what y'all want from me. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, we filmed a full get ready with me. Honestly, that's kind of a lie because I didn't really show you how I did my hair, but it's coming. I'm going to do a whole blowout tutorial as soon as I get some hair that I like. I promise, I promise, I promise. But I did show you the makeup and the outfit, and yeah, so if you're interested in seeing me get ready for a little date night out or whatever, then just keep on watching. Okay, oh, what is this on my nose? Okay, y'all are all up in my grill because we're actually doing a get ready with me where I'm really showing you like all the products for my face. So look at my sleeves, how cute. I will link it down below. Okay, so let's just get started. Y'all know I always start with my brows and I'm using this Benefit Brow Gel. Um, I went back to using this because it just holds my brows the best. The other brow gels just aren't giving right now, but I don't really like do my brows, so I haven't really needed anything major. Also, my brows need to be done, so don't, don't come for them, okay? I know they're a little, um, unruly at the moment. I'm gonna try my hardest to be able to see without getting the mirror in you guys' way. Also, my hair is in my rollers. I promise you guys, I will give you a full-blown um, blowout tutorial as soon as I get some hair that I like in my head because I do not like this hair. Oh, a little broken off pieces in the front. So I'm gonna take a concealer. This is the Hourglass. I don't know the name of it, but I'll link it down below. And I'm just gonna take that on a flat brush and carve my brows out. And that's in the color, did I say the color? Flax Girl, in case I didn't say it. So just kind of carve it out and then I take some of the concealer and put it all over my lid. And then just blend that all out. Did you like it? I'm gonna do the same to the other brow. I feel like carving is the hardest part because number one, I cannot see because the lights are so bright. And then number two, um, this determines the shape. Like if I mess this up, whew, it's hell to try to fix. Once that's there, we need to set this down. I'm gonna take a little bit of translucent powder. You don't wanna try to fill your brows on top of wet concealer. Um, it's just gonna be a slinking a mess. It's gonna be a mess. By this point, our brow gel should be nice and dry so we can start to fill in our brows. Boom, and then I just start underneath with just soft strokes. I just don't like for my brows to be too dark. Um, I like for them to be a little bit on the natural side. Now see my left eyebrow, I always end up putting like way too much. I don't know why I'm like way more heavy handed in this direction than on my other eye. I think it's also because this one's like more bald. I just like don't like this eyebrow. Like my left eyebrow is just, like, what is that? Oh, this eyebrow is jacked. And like, I can't like see. The lighting that I have to use for my videos to like look slightly decent is not makeup lighting. So like, I never can give my all like my best ability because I literally like cannot see. Okay, so for the rest of the video, just do not look at my eyebrows. I don't, I don't, I, there's, I can't, have, there's nothing I can do anymore. It is beyond me. Okay, so now for eyeshadow, I'm switching it up. I got this palette from NARS in the mail and I was like, this is cute. Like look at the colors. So I'm saying let's use it, girl. This is called, Summer Unrated Eyeshadow Palette. So I'm gonna go into the browns, <laughs> of course. <laughs> What's new? And I'm just gonna build up my crease. I don't, y'all know I don't like it too dark. This is like a brown brown. This is pretty. Um, The brush I'm using is a Sephora Pro 27, <laughs> Pro Crease 27 brush. And I'm gonna use this brush for all of our eyeshadow. And I'm just starting to just kind of build it up and blending the edges. I'm using circular motions and then going up and out a little bit, not too much though. I haven't like done a real like get ready with me, like tell you the products and like show you how I'm doing it in 
Okay, it really was only like a month or two ago, but it feels like it's been 10 years. So then I kind of take my finger sometimes because I'd be getting a little wild with the dragging out portion and it'd be looking crazy. Then I'm gonna go into the darker brown, the one right under it. So hopefully it looks okay because I have somewhere to be. I'm going to dinner. I don't know if I said that in the intro or not, but yeah, I'm going to dinner and out. Just something fun and cute. I'm actually like really excited for tonight. I don't know why. So for lip color, I do want to put a little bit of shimmer. So I think I'm gonna like mix these two. So I don't want it too gold, but I don't want this champagne either. And I don't want a lot of it. So I'm just kind of tapping. This is a Sephora number 13 brush. Just lightly and then just kind of, oh yeah, yeah, okay. And then just like tapping it over the space of the lid. And I'm kind of extending past the lid just a little bit. I kind of like the way that like opens up my eye right there. I don't know. Shimmer Shadow is so 2016, huh? I'm like so behind. I think it's pretty though. Pretty, pretty. It's a little much, but it, it it's cute. It's cute. Mm -hmm. So now, okay, mascara, because I'm wearing strip lashes because I have no eyelashes. I'm using this YSL mascara. I've never used it before, but I just got it in the mail. So I figured, what? I will try it out. You guys can see my little baby lashes. What lashes I have left after pulling all of my extensions out. I am a menace to my eyelashes. My lashes are really long. They're just really thin. Well, honestly, they're not even that thin anymore. The inner corner, I just don't have any lashes in my inner corner. So I don't know if you guys can see, there's like two lashes in my inner corner, but my lashes out here are doing pretty okay. Um, excuse my poor mascara skills. I'm a lash girl. Oh shoot. I've always been a strip lash or a lash extension girl, so I've never like put effort into learning how to properly apply mascara, which sounds awful, but it's just a fact. Okay, I don't know what y'all want from me. So the lashes that I'm putting on are these dusty, crusty lashes I've been wearing for the past 10 days. Okay, I'm lying, it hasn't been 10 days, but that's what it feels like. Like, look at how freaking crusty. Can you, is it gonna, sh can you guys see how crusty they are? Um, I'm pretty sure these are a Lily Lash Lash, but they could also be from the beauty supply store. I threw all the like cases and stuff that I had away, cause I cleaned up. And um, so it's from one of those places. And I'm gonna be daring and use black eyelash glue which honestly I'm probably going to regret, but fuck it. I have tried to redo my lashes like 35 times and this is, this is just what we're gonna have to work with. My eyes are like different shapes. I know that sounds really weird. They're like, never dark looking. They're different shapes and sizes. So like I try to make them look even but with strip lashes, it's even harder. Like when I have my extensions, it's a little easier. But with strips, no. So let's just move on to skin. But for primer, I'm gonna be using the NARS Soft Matte Primer. I usually use the Hourglass, this one. Well, not usually, but lately I've been using this one. But my skin, I like just did my skincare routine maybe like two hours ago. So my skin is still pretty like slick. And I like that because it hydrates and I don't really need any hydration. So I'm gonna use this NARS one. That's probably way too much, but whatever. Hopefully you guys can see me. Oh, I didn't get my color corrector. I knew I was missing something. So you guys know I always start with color correcting. I have like really dark under eyes. Well, I have a vein that runs through here and then my skin is just pretty thin there and I'm pale as hell. So you can see everything through like my under eye skin. So I like to use this color corrector from Charlotte Tilbury. I've been using it with my finger lately. I feel like it just blends in better. And I just tap this here to kind of neutralize all that like blue and like purpley, the darkness that's up under here. I feel like it makes it to where I don't have to wear nowhere near as much concealer to just kind of make all this smooth. Um, and this is like a really thin formula. It is a cream. I know it doesn't look like it in this pot, 
but because it's so flat, but it's a cream. And then I also like to use it on my upper lip because I have a mustache. Um, I shaved today. <laughs> I don't have like a full blown mustache, but I do have like, I, I mean, I do have a mustache, but anyways. So just because sometimes I feel like it gets kind of like dark right up here above my lip, like a little five o'clock shadow, I put it there. And then I don't know if you guys can see this like dark line that I have like in my jowl area. I don't know if that's a vein. Y'all hear it? I don't know what that is, but I hate it. Um, so I put this here just to neutralize that. And that I think is more like shadows. Like I think, I, I don't know what it is, but but no, I have it right there too. But I really only notice it on this side. Like this side is bad, but I put it there because I feel like it's helping, but it's really not because girl, even through my makeup, you can still see that line and I hate it, but whatever. Okay, so for foundation, I'm using the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation. This is in the shade Y405. So I'm gonna put oh, a little bit of this. I don't like to use too much foundation lately. I feel like too much, I'd be looking scary. Like I don't feel like I look as good. I know that sounds really weird, but yeah. And then I take the Makeup Forever HD Skin, the liquid, and this is in a little bit darker of a shade, Y425. So it's Y405 and Y425, because Y405 is just a little too light, and Y425, I can get away with it, but it's a little orangey sometimes. So I just like to use a little bit and I mix the two together for my skin. And then I'm taking a clean beauty blender. Now y'all listen, I know. I used to never clean my beauty blenders. I would use a beauty blender for a month straight. Like it's, I re-wet it, it's saying no. But I really feel like it makes a huge difference to use at least like only used twice. And even that's a lot in my opinion, but I've noticed such a big difference. Now, hopefully I can translate that mindset into my brushes and then we will be a great, great person. But as of right now, we're only at the beauty blender stage. So I'm gonna blend um, all of this foundation in. I'm just kind of tapping. I do go over my ears because yeah. And just tapping motions. And as you can see, when I turn to the side, it's a pretty good match to the neck. And I'm wearing like a, like none of my chest or anything is gonna be out. So I feel like you won't really notice that my face is lighter than my body. So, yeah. And then I put a little bit on my forehead, but I always rub it off because my forehead is just a completely different color than the rest of my body. So there is like no point in trying to make that match, okay? For concealer, I have gone back to good old faithful baby, AKA Kevin Aquan. Now listen, you do not need a lot of this, okay? Do not go and put mounds of this on your face because you're gonna look insane. I have mine in the shade SX08. And I'm just gonna put a little bit in the cap and kind of wipe it off. So I just have a concealer brush here. You don't need a lot of this. Like even what I'm putting right now, that's a little much. And this is my placement for my concealer. So right under the eye, kind of up the, the side of the nose, right around the corners of the nose. And then the corner of the eye. Ooh, that's too much. Ooh, that's too much. Yikes. And then on the chin. And then the nose. I try to keep this line as straight as possible because it really helps and makes the contouring easier whenever we get to that part. I'm gonna have to fix my eyebrows a little bit. And then like literally right between my eyebrows. The br I think my lights are so bright that you can't really see like that highlight right there, but it's there. So then taking the Beauty Blender again, I like to use the butt for my chin and then for the forehead. And then I like to use the side of the Beauty Blender when it comes to under the eyes. Is this a bump on my face? Or is that a pile of makeup? What is this? Hold up. It's a whole pimple. 
Now, where did you come from? Ciao. Okay. But you guys see how little, like, you don't need, and like, and when you put powder on, baby, it's gonna snap, okay? And I do blend it up the sides of the nose. I don't know if I said that. Because it is so thick, so you wanna make sure you're blending this really good because if you don't blend it all the way out, it will literally look like a pile of just something sitting on your face and you just don't want that. Like, especially going out to eat with a man, girl. I think we did good. So then I'm gonna do a little bit of cream bronzing today. I'm using the Makeup Forever HD stick in the shade Y505, so not too, too much darker than me. And I'm just gonna take an e.l.f. brush and tap into it and then use my hair, and then just use that to kind of just blend this. As you guys can see, like my forehead is just, it, it's no, it will never match. Like it's its own, it's a new face. It's its own face at this point. I don't even try to include her in what goes on down here. Doing the cheeks. I have pretty defined cheekbones naturally, so I don't really use this as a sculptor, but just more so to bring color back to my face and just make me pretty bronzy. I find that less concealer, I mean concealer, along with the notion of less foundation, less bronzer or contour for my face, in my opinion, is more flattering because I already have such a chiseled face. So letting it be a little softer and rounder, like making my face look rounder, in my opinion, looks better. For like, you know, just every day or, you know, I don't know. And a little down here on the chin. And I also kind of just take whatever's left over and um, brush it down the jaw. So we look, we look good. But we're gonna look even better when we put some powder on this face. The powder is when it just brings it all together. So I'm gonna be using my La Mer powder mixed with my Laura Mercier powder in Translucent Honey. And this is just, there. there's no shades in this powder. Um, I only mix a little bit of La Mer with a lot of the Laura Mercier because the La Mer has a little bit of like this sparkly tinge to it. Not sparkly, I don't wanna say sparkly but it reflects the light. So the La Mer will never truly look matte all on its own. So, um, but I like the finish. I don't know how to explain it, but I like these two together. So I'm gonna push my sponge into the cap, get some out. Now this is where you make it so your makeup does not look crazy. I'm doing this because I don't want my eyes crease. Take your powder and pat off the excess into your hand, okay? And whatever is left on your sponge is what you're gonna put on your under eye. And that's it. And you can layer after that. If you feel like you need more powder, like I feel like I need just a little bit more, you layer it, but don't go in with all that powder from your sponge. I used to like blow. And then I seen a girl on TikTok. God, I wish I had her TikTok so I could shout her out. She did this and I said, wait a minute. Genius, literally genius. And then I just layer the powder as I need it, because I'm starting with such a small amount, but enough though. It, it's small, but you're starting with a really, a, the sun must have just went behind the cloud. Now, I know what you're thinking. Aaliyah, that forehead look crazy. Aaliyah, you look pale, you look crazy. I'm gonna fix it. So then, when is the sun coming back? Where did the sun go? When it's not that late, it's five o'clock. So then I'm taking my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Matte Tan. I'm taking this on a fluffy brush and I'm just kind of setting my face down, but really setting where I put that cream bronzer because that is how our bronzer is gonna go on really smooth is that we make sure that it's not sticky where that cream bronzer is. Okay, and then for bronzer, of course, I'm using my Dirty Dirty. Oh, oh no. I put this in hair oil. Oops, I'm still gonna use it. Dirty Dirty Makeup by Mario bronzer. This is in the shade Dark. Like I said, very light for the bronzer for me. I just kinda wanna look kissed. I don't wanna look chiseled out. You get what I'm saying? 
For nose contour, I'm using a little angled brush. Now my nose, I be pulling her together. Okay, so starting on the side, going up and down motions, connecting to the brow, and then pulling down, and then making sure I always put bronzer at the bottom because um, my nose naturally goes up or regular, I don't know, but when I smile, it points down. And like, it can look longer than what it is if I don't put, because I've highlighted all the way down, I need to put the contour that goes right under the nose so that it doesn't look like it never ends whenever I smile. And I'm like always laughing and smiling, so I'd be looking crazy as hell if I don't. So now that looks insane. Some people really like that, but like, no thank you. So then for blush, I feel like this blush is just a game changer for me. I absolutely love this blush. It's the Dior Backstage, but in the shade Coral. I know everyone went nuts over the like really, really pinky one, but this peachy pink to me, is it not showing on camera? Hello? Why does it look so white? Y'all, it's like a completely different, I don't know why it doesn't, isn't picking up, but it is so pretty. So this is what I use for blush and I'm using a Sephora Pro Contour brush. And I'm a, now blush, I load it up. Cause I also put my blush like on my apples so it rounds out my face. Um, so I put a lot of blush on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair down before I do my lips. Or no, 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 I'll, 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 I'll go ahead and do my lips. <laughs> Don't pay me no mind. Okay, so for lip liner, I'm using Huda Beauty's Warm Brown. Let me get a handheld. Overlining the hell out of my lips. Well, not that bad, but I have thinner lips. And so I like them to look a little fuller. And I like to make sure that you can see the shape of my lips because I'd be getting lost behind all the makeup. For lipstick, I'm using the Nicki Minaj. This isn't the pink print because I can't find it. This is Nicki's nude. I don't know what I did with my pink print, so we're not wearing a pinky, as much of a pinky. We're doing a more peachy nude today. Taking a lot of that off because like, I don't want it to be, I don't like my lips to be too, too dark. Then I'm taking this KK Beauty number two nude, which is like freaking white on me. So just a little bit in the center. And then I'm using my Fenty Beauty um, Sweet Mouth on the lip. A little peachy, peachy moment. Okay, so now let's take this hair down. I'm gonna back up so y'all aren't so, so close to me anymore. In the back, I hate these clips. They be pulling my hair out so bad and I know someone's gonna be like, well, they're Velcro rollers, why do you have clips? Cause I be putting too much hair in the roller. So it need a clip to make it stay. And then my Velcro rollers are from Amazon. I'll link them down below for you guys. Um, oh, actually these are from Walmart. My black ones, see I knew there was another clip in my hair. Anyways, these are from Walmart. And I just washed my hair so it should have lots of body. It shouldn't be weighed down or nothing because I just washed it. Although I'm not a hairstylist, so I'm not the best <laughs> when it comes to that, but I mean to do what I do. Okay, and then this part of my hair, I'm just gonna have to fix because this is just broken off. So this is what it looks like straight out the rollers. So now I'm gonna fluff it and play with it with my fingers. All right, y'all, I'm gonna uh, play around and try to fix my hair and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, so no matter where I put my camera, there's no way for me to get full body, like all in one shot. So this is the dress that I'm wearing. It's from Atoir, Atar, Atier. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll um, link it down below though. It's just a black sweater dress with a slit up the side. Super duper cute, simple. And then I'm carrying this Lady Dior bag in gray and then I'm wearing these metallic-y they're like a blue green gray metallic boot from Alexander Vuther they are so stinking cute I've been waiting to wear these um, love 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 them and it's not too cold outside it's like mm, like 60 so it's 
decent boot weather, but I don't need like a jacket or anything. So yeah, and then the dress also has this cool, like it cuts kind of low, so I'm kind of pushing my bra down there. <laughs> because the dress, y'all know this like ribbed material, it's never super duper duper fitted. So I like needed a bra because there was like no support whatsoever. And then for jewelry, I just did my typical watch and um, um, tennis bracelet. My Cartier jewelry, I have this Dior um, like lace bracelet on. Um, my rings and then my earrings are from Oma the label. They have like these little, it's like two little circles and there's like diamonds in this one. So cute. So yeah, and then for my perfume, I can't stop wearing this to me. This is like the perfect date night perfume. Um, this is Zhirzhov's Le Capital from the Shooting Stars collection. It is so good. And you don't need much and it lasts. I'm talking girl, this will last years on your skin. Like it like does not come off. So um, yeah, that's what I'm wearing. All right, you guys, so that is it for this full get ready with me. I hope you guys liked the look. Um, let me know if you guys want more get ready with me. You know, I'd be going out or whatever now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.